Anyway, guys, um, just gonna do a little review on the CRF 150R big wheel. Um, so RB or RX, but um, this is a 2017. I'm pretty sure. Um, old design, 2007 design. I think they changed something in the motor. Uh, about 2012. Um, few upgrades that I've got is some VPS, um, not full wrap hand guards, um, an alloy bash plate which is handy, and I just put a new. Um, air filter in it um this one's probably been through about eight nine tanks of fuel so not many um i bought it second hand um not too long ago um one a few things about this bike is it goes through a lot of fuel like i might get an hour and a half to two hours out of one tank of fuel um this is a liquid cooled bike too which is nice um personally i'm 36 kilograms um and i've got this suspension on the lightest setting possible um upside down shower forks as possible um me being 36 kilos i'm quite light for my age 13 um and it's it's not you know it's soft but it's it's not super duper soft it's soft enough um it's a very talky about the engine again um it's a very talky snappy sort of motor and being a short wheelbase um it, it's really easy to sort of get the front wheel off the ground and r remove her around um, 84 kilograms around 8, 84 kilograms wet which is also nice um, um, I just came off a CRF 125 and um, coming off one of them they're pretty gutless um, and this thing's pretty powerful um, compared to that it's good fun this um, this is a kickstart bike being a race bike and that's why it's so light um, obviously clutch bike too just take my helmet off um, kill switch here it's got a carby um, choke uh, fuel on and off doesn't have a reserve unfortunately it's got a little hot start lever this thing here at first I thought it was like a mini clutch but I, I it, yeah it's just a hot start clutch of course disc brakes front and rear which is nice um, obviously because it's an older bike they're not fantastic but um, you know it's all right five speed gearbox it's quite I, I i like the gearbox it's um seems to sort of um hold the gears nicely um yeah i would say it, it tops out at maybe sort of 80 to 100 k's now it's been a five speed gearbox it doesn't have the um faster speed but yeah should we do some riding see how we go um also quickly with starting it does, it's not the best to start in the morning, cold starts, definitely cold blooded. Um, sometimes I'll get sort of three to three to ten kicks, um, depends. But um, when it's warm, maybe sort of one to three kicks, depending how warm it is and stuff. Righty, so because it's been riding, we'll try a hot start. that's just a little bit of riding um obviously these things are sort of motocross bikes motocross gearing motocross suspension um and i would have rather rather to have something sort of more enduro but this um is really the only power but um being my size which i'm quite small for my age um there's nothing really to go on to unless i want to go into a full-size bike um you know a 250 or something um but that's just, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to touch the ground, so it wouldn't be great. Um, you know, there's YZ85s, which are the same dimension as this, actually. Um, there's KX85s, there's all sorts, but I like the four-stroke, and this thing's got a bit more power than those um, little two-strokes, so. Um, yeah, it's a lot noisier than the 125, something to keep in mind, but 
I like that. I mean, we're on big acreage here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, also, being a race bike, which it is a race bike, um, you know, service intervals every five to ten hours, depending on what you're doing. Um, I just uh, changed the air filter. All seems clean. I should probably do that soon. But, um, yeah, I love this bike overall, and I'll you'll see some um, footage of me riding here and there. Um, yeah, it's a great fun bike for my age, and I've got a lot of fun on it. So yeah.